Hello, this is Jeremy of Dual and Digital back with another tiled map editor tutorial. Last time we talked about how to use random mode to add a little bit of variety when you use the flood fill tool. And at the very end of the video, I hinted at how you could use the terrain editor to very easily draw additional terrain like dirt paths or pools of water. And so that's what we're going to be talking about today. <clears throat> Tiled has a fantastic way of handling this, uh, but the best way to show how great this tool is is really to show how the problem, uh, to show the problem that it solves. Uh, but I'm going to do this by starting uh, from scratch. I've, I've got a 20 by 20 map here, and I haven't drawn anything in it. Uh, the first thing I'm going to need to do is bring in a tile set. So I'm going to click here on New Tile Set, and then go to Browse, and then go to AllTerrain.png. This is a file uh, that I actually created myself out of multiple files from Final Boss Blue's uh, Time Fantasy Asset Pack. So it's an excellent uh, graphics asset pack you can get on itch.io. I'll link to that in, uh, in the description below. Okay, so it's asking me to save the file as a .tsx file. I highly recommend doing this because uh, unless you have a very simple situation where all of your map data is going to be all in one file. I recommend using TSX files, uh, especially in a, an RP, uh, in a game like an RPG, uh, such as you would be creating with uh, the Time Fantasy assets. Uh, this is incredibly useful because that means you can use the same tile set data in any map that you create. So I'm going to just create one with the same name as the, the, uh, the PNG file, allterrain.tsx. And here are those lovely tiles. Okay, so these should look familiar to anybody who watched the last video. I've got all of these grass tiles. This is what we worked with last time. Uh, how to fill in grass tiles with a, a little bit of randomness. Today we're going to be looking at how to use uh, the, the terrain editor here. But let's go back to our main map and, and really show the problem that we have. Over here in the auto tiles section, I have some grass tiles and some dirt tiles and, and gray gravel. Uh, we've got some sand, uh, what looks like actual ceramic tiles here and cobblestone. Uh, and then down here we have the same sort of pattern with a, a yellow grass. And then down here we have uh, like a brown dirt and a darker cobblestone and a gray tile and quite a few others. So let's flood this whole map with just the green grass. Okay, so let's go to the flood tool. Okay, now we already know how to make this look a little bit more interesting, but we're not going to bother with that at the moment. I want to create a dirt path here. So I'm going to choose the dirt tile. Uh, put it back on the stamp brush. And then I want to create my little dirt path here. Okay. And then uh, maybe let's make a little square area here in the middle. All right, so very simple dirt path. Uh, but I'm not done yet. As you can see, there are, uh, there are borders that I can add to these different tiles. So let's start to fix those. All right, so I've got, technically I need this little border tile here for this vertical section. Okay, I'll come down here. Uh, oh, and I'm gonna need that, uh, the other side over here. Okay, and uh, no, no, I don't think I'll need it here, but then I'll need the up and down uh, the, the top and bottom borders is uh, too. So there's those. Um, need them here. Okay, so obviously uh, this is a little bit tedious. And the more complex the dirt path, the worse it gets. Um, so there are, tool, there are tiles for all of these different parts, the, the inside corners and the outside corners. But assembling them manually like this is a royal pain. And that's really what the tile, uh, the, the uh, terrain editor is all about. So let's undo this. Go all the way back to the beginning. And I'm going to show you how to solve this problem. <clears throat> so I have the tile set open, the .tsx file. And we're going to scroll over here to that same section. OK, so this tile set is full of different types of terrains, like I was just mentioning, the grass and the tile and the sand and the gravel and all those. The terrain editor is all about transitioning from one different terrain to the other. And I think that's kind of where the confusion starts as you're first learning how to use the, uh, the, uh, the terrain editor. When you look at this very top row, you can see that it's sort of half grass and half dirt. And that's really the case here. 
we only have two tiles that are one or the other. All the way over here on the left, we have a, a completely dirt tile. And over here on the right, it's all grass. But all of these ones in the middle have at least one part that is uh, dirt and one part that's, uh, that's grass. The terrain editor requires you to specify which parts are grass and which parts are dirt. What you end up doing is creating a terrain, and, and I'll show you how to create one. You'll, you'll see them over here. Uh, we're going to create a terrain for each one of these different types. Now, I recommend uh, going up to this little rectangle and circle the tile collision editor. And I know you can't see my mouse cursor. I just discovered that OBS can't capture the mouse cursor on Mac OS, so dull. Um, but click on that little rectangle and circle, and then highlight just one tile. And I'm going to choose this grass tile here. Highlight the grass tile. This is going to be uh, the tile that represents uh, this particular terrain. Um, so once I have it selected, I'm going to click on the little map icon. And then at the very bottom, lower right, I'm going to click on the plus sign to add a terrain type. It automatically chooses whichever tile I have selected to be my sort of my little grass terrain icon. All right, so next is to name the terrain, and I'm just going to call it grass. Now I have the terrain created, but the next step is to actually specify which parts of this tile set are grass and which parts are dirt. The way this is done is by examining the four corners of each tile. Tiled allows you to select which of the four corners is grass and which is dirt. Except since we're editing the grass terrain, and that's the only one that we have created right now, our job at this point is just to tell it which parts of which tiles are grass. So let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna use the cursor to click and drag and highlight all four corners of our main grass tile. Then just to the left, we have a situation where three of the four corners are grass. The upper left corner is not grass, it's dirt. So let's highlight just those uh, upper right, lower right, and then lower left, and leave the upper left corner dirt. And then we'll do the same to the tile next to it. Uh, the one to the left of that, only the very bottom two contain grass. And then we've got another one with three, and then so on. Uh, we have a little weird one here uh, where the lower right and the upper left are grass, and then the opposite corners are dirt. This is that tiny little lower right hand. And uh, let's go ahead and just fill in the rest real quick here because I think you probably get the picture by now. What we're doing here, uh, we're specifying things like side borders, top and bottom borders, inside corners, and outside corners. So now we have our grass terrain, but the next step is to create the dirt terrain because remember, this is all about transitioning from one terrain to the next. So go back and click on that rectangle and circle shape again, highlight the dirt, then click on the terrain editor again, then go down and click the plus sign, and we're going to create our dirt terrain. And now it's just the opposite. We want to highlight only the parts of the tiles that are dirt. The cool thing here is you can now see where the old grass tiles are highlighted. You get a, a, a hint, it's sort of a, a gray and... Uh, and uh, uh, you can see a little border where the grass tiles are. Well, that makes this a lot easier. Um, and I messed up there. I went a little too far. So a little undo there. Okay, highlight all four over here. And now we highlight the dirt. And basically you're just going to highlight everything that you didn't highlight as grass earlier. So pretty simple. Okay, there's our dirt. <clears throat> All right, now we're actually ready to use these terrains. So let's switch back to our little uh, tutorial map file here, our little 20 by 20 map. And we're going to choose the grass tile again. Go back and use the flood fill. And now we're actually ready to use the terrain tool. So down here at the very bottom below our, uh, where you can see the tiles, you can see that there are two tabs. There's tile sets and terrains. This allows you to draw either using just straight tiles or you can click on terrains and now you can see those terrains that we created earlier. We're gonna choose dirt, okay? 
soon as we hover over the map, you can see what it's about to do. I can now just click and drag to create my dirt path. And that's all there is to it. That's done. Um, also, I'm going to undo all this. Well, how about we redo that? Um, you, if you hold in on, it's, it would be the command key in, in uh, Mac OS, and I think control in Windows or Linux. And it will allow you to create a smaller path. Just like this. Okay. Okay, so very cool indeed, right? Uh, so, <clears throat> but we talked about random mode last time, and we still have that same problem with all these grass tiles being random. But how's the terrain editor going to know that all those other different types of tiles are actually grass? So let's undo everything. Go back to our terrain editor. Because if we, if we go back to our grass tile set, we can see these are the only grass tiles that we've specified. Turns out this is actually a very easy thing to do. All we have to do is come over here to where all these other uh, varieties of grass tiles were and tell the terrain editor that all of them are grass. That's it. So now we're going to tell that uh, tell tile that all of these tiles are grass, even though that we even though they have you know mushrooms and flowers and rocks and such. <clears throat> Make sure you get them all. Okay. All right. Excellent. These are all grass tiles now. Let's save that. However, uh, since this is a brand new tile set, I have to specify those probabilities again. This goes back to our last tutorial on using random mode. I want these three tiles to be the most common. So I'll highlight those and give them a 0.5. 25% chance for each of them. What this basically means is that uh, these three tiles are statistically going to come up 75% of the time, most of my uh, map. This fourth tile over, I'm going to give it just a 5% chance. The ones to the right of it are a little too dark, and I don't want them to show up at all. So I'm going to give them a 0%. Now that doesn't mean that I can't use them, it just means that if I'm going to draw with those tiles, I'll need to do it manually. For all the rest, I'm going to assign them a very small 0 0.002, which is a 0.2% probability. And then save that. Okay, let me just double check that they're all looking right. There should be zero. Okay, all right, that all looks good. Now, we have the probabilities set. All of these are now considered grass. Let's go. Okay, if you click on the grass terrain and the flood tool, it still defaults to flooding uh, just using the same tile. But if we go back to the tile sets tab, and then do our little trick of highlighting all the different tiles that we would like to be able to use. Okay. And then we'll include this one as well. And then we set random mode. We can do our nifty little flood fill with our variety. Now here's the cool thing. According to the terrain editor, this map is all grass. And if we go back to terrains and select dirt, it'll work exactly the same way. Really, really nice. And that's it. That's all there is to it. Uh, we could also add some variety to the dirt terrain if we wanted to by going over here and selecting all of these tiles and telling the editor that these are also dirt. And so we would get some rocks and uh, you know little, little grass uh, patches and flowers in the middle of our dirt too. If we wanted to make water, we would come over here and then continue to edit our grass terrain to include all of the grass tiles over here with the water. These are actually pretty easy to do. In fact, I'll just go ahead and do this so that you can see how it works. Okay, so that's all grass. Uh, we're going to have to create a water terrain now. So click on the little shapes, choose a water tile, go back and add our terrain. There's water. 
Now let's tell it where the water is. The water is wherever the grass is not. All right. Almost done there. Okay, so there's our water. And uh, we can now come back to our map, choose our new tile set. and uh, create some water. All right, so that's the tutorial. That's how terrains work. Um, I think uh, ending here, you can see that the water is not animating. However, our tile set has animated water. All three of these sections will animate the water. So I think perhaps our next tutorial will be how to animate this water. So thank you for listening. Hope you were able to uh, learn some more about the terrain editor. And I really hope that saves everybody a lot of time. Uh, thank you very much and uh, hope to see you again.